We are going to start by taking a section at your bangs, splitting it into two. Take a little section from the back, move it under to the front. Take a little section from the front and move it under to the back. Take a section from the back, move it under to the front, and incorporate new hair, taking a little section and moving it under to the front. Now take a section from front, move it to the back, incorporate hair, and move that to the back. And we're just continuing these same steps the whole time. I have another video where I go a little bit more into depth of how you do this, but I've done this in a few tutorials now that I figured I would speed it up this time. But you're just going to be directing the hair going back towards your head because you don't want any bumps when you're pulling it back towards your head. So make sure that your hands are going backwards rather than straight down. And I'll leave the link to a couple of the other tutorials I have that go a little slower for this if you need them in the description box below. Once you get to about your eyebrows, you're going to stop adding in hair and just continue bringing those outside strands under to the opposite side. Once you get to the bottom, tie it with an elastic, spray it with hairspray, and start pulling apart the very outer edges of the braid. You want this to look really, really big and thick, so just pull it apart like crazy so you get tons of volume. Now you do the exact same thing on the opposite side, the same thing we did before. So now you have your two Dutch fishtail braids and you're going to take one of the braids and cross it along the back of your head and start bobby pinning it in place. And now you'll take that second braid, bring it along the back, and so it's covering the top braid. So you want it to look like it's just one continuous braid. And now you're going to take those edges, take the elastic out, and bobby pin them underneath the braid so you can't tell where it stops. If you have more hair on this side like I did, you'll just need a few extra bobby pins to put it in place. And that is the finished look. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.